I greet you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. My name is Promise Vive Omega. I study in P5 class at Good Heritage Academy, Rwanda. Good Heritage Academy, Rwanda. And I am with a translator by the name of Imanu Mnyeshakali Hobot. And she is my sister. May God bless her. Today we are going to study a sermon by the title, Here I am, Lord, send me. Here I am, Lord, send me. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, that we humbly come before you, wishing to be taught by you through your word. Bless us and guide us, whether it's me or those who listen. May we all be led by your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 In 163 and 7, the Adventist team said this. Jesus is calling, saying, Whom shall I send today? The harvest is near. Who shall leap? Here he is calling us and the blessing who says, Here I am, Lord, send me. This was from this song I reconnected with scriptures in the book of Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8. Where God has this. Whom shall send? Whom will be our messenger? And Isaiah answered, Is me, send me. Something important here is this. Before Isaiah was sent, he met with God. His sins was forgiven and covered. And then God gave him the message. The way God called prophet of long ago, that is the same way God is still calling his children for giving his last call message. We read in Hebrews chapter 1 these words. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors many times and in many ways through the prophets, but in these last days, He has spoken to us through His Son. You can ask yourself, where did Prophet get their message from? The answer is in the second letter of Peter, chapter 1, verse 19 up to 21. Let's read in the second letter of Peter, chapter 1, verse 19 up to 21. And you have something more sure, the prophetic word which you do have to pay attention as to where I'm shining in dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. Knowing this, first, knowing this first of all that no prophecy or scripture comes from someone's interpretation, for no prophecy was ever produced by the will of man, but men spoke from God that they carried along by the Holy Spirit. Nyamara <laughs> When God calls, He does not judge by age, education, glory, or family background. As we read it in the book of Great Controversy, page 327. 
nkuko biboneka mu gitabo cy'inambara ikomeye page 3027 all of them are trained in the school of jesus christ abihamagaye bigira mu ishuri rya kristo we can speak of someone who was dedicated to god while he was a little children and he did what he didn't accomplish kwavuga nka samuel watu witeka kiye muto akora ibyo eli yananiwe gukora and he became a judge for israel who was respected by all until his old age abera bisaye mu cyamanza kandi ushimwa na bose we read this in the first book of Samuel chapter 3 verse 20. Dusoma mu gitabo cy'ambere cy'a Samuel igice cy'a gatatu mu rungu wa 22. And all people of Israel from Dan to Beersheba knew that Samuel was a prophet of Jesus Christ. Dusoma mu gitabo cy'ambere cy'a Samuel igice cy'a gatatu mu rungu wa 22. Hagira hati nuko abisirayel bose uhereye Dan ukageza Beersheba amenya ko Samuel yarundukiye mu banuzi bw'uwiteka. Jeremiah also was called that was young like how we found it in the first chapter of his book. Jeremiah yahamaga wakiri umwana muto ngo tubisanga mu gico cy'ambere cy'igitabo cye. Ezekiel was called why was the priest and Amos was a shepherd and the peasant of fig tree. Ezekiel yahamaga ari umutambyi na Amos yari umushumba n'umuhinzi w'ibiti by'umutini. All these examples show that me and you who reason whether a child or old one if we are right God can use us in his vineyard. Zingero nkeze kana ko nge nabo nteza amatwi ye umwana cyangwa umukuru twemerwe uwiteka yadukoresha mu ruzabibudwe because the harvest is so big but the reapers are few ukibisarudwa ari byinshi ariko abasaruzi nibake let us particularly focus on two major prophets who are Isaiah and Jeremiah first part because they are what we cannot study today Jumi hari kore ku munsi twibande ku bantu zabiri ari bo Yesaya na Yeremia umugabane wa mbere kuko ari byinshi tutarondora twabigiraho uyu munsi we read in steps to Christ these words dusoma mu gitabo kugana Yesu amagamba kurikira the bible speak of Jesus bibiliya yose tubwira bya Kristo from the first word to the last word is where we see all his works kuva ku ijambo rya mbere kugeza ku risoza no tubonera ibyimirimo ye yose when we study scriptures we hear the voice of God speaking to our heart je twiga ibyandwe byera twumvijwe ibyimana ari vugana n'imitima yacu the theme of prophets in general is to glorify Jesus Jesus with atonement and sacrifice insanganya amazika abantu zibahuriyeho nokwereza Yesu we mu ngano n'igitambo cyacu the prophet Micah spoke how would be born Isaiah and Jeremiah spoke how would be called Micah yavuze azavukira Isaiah na Yeremia bavuga ukazitwa the prophets of Isaiah contain words that cannot be forgotten in the mind of its leaders abantu zigwesa burimo amagambo adashobora kwibagiranwa mu bwenge bw'umusomyi it does not only have the meaning but also contain words of hope and promise and also words of encouragement adafite ubusobanuro bwimbitse gusa ahubwo kubiyemo ibyiringiro n'amasezerano ndetse no gusubizwa mintege good words that comfort the heart like amagambo meza yirimo mutima nkaya god is with us imana iri kumye natwe as i chapter 7 verse 14 yesa igice cya 7 uyu murongo wa 14 a child is born to us nuko umwana yatuvukiye as i chapter 9 verse 6 yesa igice cya 10 uyu murongo wa gatandatu fill every valley ugikombe cyose kizuzuzwa chapter 4 to verse 4 Yes, I do not be afraid. I'm with you. I'm your God. Let nothing terrify you. Is, is chapter 41, verse 10. Yes, I do not And other words like, But because of our sins, he was wounded, beaten because of the evil he did. We are healed by the punishment he suffered, made whole by the blows he received. Nyamara ibicumuro byacu ni byo yacumitiwe yashenjaguriwe ibicumuro byacu igihano kiduhesha amahoro cyari kuri we kandi mibyimba ye ni yadukirisha Isaiah chapter 53 verse 5 Yesaya gitu cya 53 Chapter 52 and 53 of Isaiah show the image of Messiah more than any other part in the Old Testament Gitu cya 52 na 53 bya Isaiah that's why he was called the prophet of gospel. The words of Isaiah show when he was given the message how the word of that time was. 
magamba esa ere kanjira ba gutunga ukisi chaji ya imezi. The worst thing is that the nation of Judah, the chosen people of God, was increasingly sinning and going deep in sin. Ichiru jo kubati vi nukubwa kubaga yuda kubwa kubaga tani shugani ma na kwa shaga gusa ishamuwe vi nukwe nebera. You can find that in words like. Wabistanga magamba ngaya. Who asked you to bring me all this when you come to worship me? Who asked you to do all this tramping in my temple? Yomuza kunjwe njerira ni ndo wabgiye kumuza kundi watirurugo. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 12. Yesa jitete wa mbele wa mungu wa tuna kabili. To trample the house of God thinking you come to pray, it's all full. Kuiba turugo tbima nuziku waje kusenga. Isaiah chapter 18 talks about a nation that destroy and trample their country that is divided by levers. They told the prophet this. Don't talk to us about what's light. Tell us what you want to hear. Let us keep our illusions. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 10. The most grievous words are found in Isaiah chapter 42 verse 18 up to 20. Amagamba wabaje kutaho aboneka muri Yesaya igice cya 42 umurongo wa 18 kugeza kwa 22. The Lord says, Imani iravuga iti, Listen you deaf people who crossly you that are blind. Is anyone more blind than my servant, more deaf than the messenger I sent? Murambure bibiri ya dusome muri Yesaya igice cya 42 umurongo wa 18 kugeza kwa 22. Murambure bibiri ya dusome muri Yesaya igice cya 42 umurongo wa 18 kugeza kwa 22. Haravuga ngo mwaipfa amatwi mwe ni mwumve mwampumye mwe ni bere ni murebe mwitegereze hari ndi mu myaka ari umugaragu wanje cyangwa hari kindi gipfa amatwi atari ntumwe yanje ntuma Hari ndi mu myaka taro muyoboke wanje kandi hari mu myaka taro mugaragu witeka ureba byinshi ariko nti witegereza amatwi yarazibutse ariko nti yumva After rebuking them then he gave them a message of comfort and hope Nyuma yo kubacyaha yabahaye ubutumwa bw'ihumure ni byiringiro In Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6 up to 7 when he says Muri Yesaya igice cya 55 umurongo wa gatandatu kugeza kwa 7 agira ati Turn to the Lord and pray to him now that he is near let the wicked live their way of life and change their way of thinking let them turn to the Lord our God is merciful and quick to forgive Ni mushaka kubiteka ibigishoboka kwa banwa ni mwamba za kiri bugufi umunyabyana reka ingesoze ubukyandwa reka ibyo yibwira agarukira imana yacu kuko zamugirira ibambe agarukira imana yacu kizamubabare ya rwose pe Isaiah revealed that the rose does not give salvation only but also he is salvation Yes, I shall quit the Tanga Gatiza Gusta, who go again, where Gatiza Cartoon. Isaiah chapter twelve, verse two. Yes, I did touch him in a cavity, Mongo Cavity. Having the whole one of Israel is having everything to us. Could you wear our Israel in Kujira Jose Kritwe? Isaiah chapter twelve, verse six. Yes, I did touch him in a cavity, Mongo Gatanda. Jesus didn't walk miracles only, but also he became fresh and lived among us. Yes, we are called the Tanga as a Gusta. I hope we are moving out quick. John chapter 1 verse 14. Yohani jite cha ambere wa mungu wa chumi na kane. He didn't bow our sins on the cross only but he became sin for us. Niyukore bja bja chuku msara agusa. Ahugwe ya hindu chitia hawa kubgachu. The second letter of Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. Ya befe so jitu cha kaviru mungu wa chumi na kane. He didn't give peace only but he is our peace. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14 Christ, Christ was determined to do whatever it takes so that humankind could get salvation. The book of Isaiah is a book that is understandable only for people who are patient. Let's end up with the uh, first part we shall come on with the second part. God bless you.